Hi, my name is Christy Murphy, and I'm from Jupiter, Florida. I'm a professional longboarder. I've been surfing over 10 years, and uh, my newest obsession is stand-up paddling, or supping, as they sometimes call it. Um, I've really enjoyed stand-up paddling for the past three years, um, oftentimes when the waves are small or it's uh, maybe too choppy or windy to surf. I'll just go out in some flat water and paddle, and I find it's great exercise. Um, it's a great cross-training tool for surfing. When I can't surf, um, it's basically the next best thing. Um, come along with me as I uh, show you a, a few things that have helped me on my journey uh, through the SUP world, and I hope you find these tips useful and that they might help you on your SUP journey. Prone paddling. This is uh, lying on the board on your stomach and paddling with your arms. You want to position your paddle underneath your chest so that the shaft of the paddle is up in the air, that we're therefore not putting any unnecessary stress on the paddle blade, and you simply paddle with your arms. Knee paddling is a transition point between prone and going up to your feet. Basically from prone position, slide up to your knees and just begin paddling. The next step is going to be getting up to your feet. Now the next step is standing up. Bring one foot up at a time until you're in an upright position. Try not to rock side to side. That'll make you unstable and you'll fall off. Remember, as you leave the board, your hands are the last thing to come up and bring the paddle up with you. The changeover is the technique of changing the blade from paddling from one side to the other. Watch as I release the T-grip with my left hand and replace it with my right hand on the shaft and vice versa. To stall the board or stop, simply drag the paddle in the water to create friction. To make a wide, slow turn, back paddle. When you back paddle, make sure the blade of the paddle is away from the board.
back paddling is paddling from the tail of the board towards the nose. The quick turn, used mostly when surfing or when you need to possibly turn into a really direct wind or a stiff wind. Um, it's basically the most efficient way to really crank your board around into a 180. Watch when I quick turn, I shift my weight towards the tail, which is the pivot point. I'm sinking the tail so that now I can use the blade of the paddle to paddle from nose to tail thus cranking around in a 180. When wiping out, it's important that you fall away from your board and away from your paddle. It's important to go retrieve your board first. Once you have your board under control, you can prone paddle back to your paddle. If you wipe out to holding onto your paddle, there's a possibility that you could hit your paddle. Again, it's really important that you release the paddle and get it as far away from you as possible. Stand-up paddling is safe, it's fun. It's a great way to get outside and enjoy the sunshine. So get out there and SUP today.